check for advanced restart button it's available here i'm directly booting into recovery using that if you don't have that use the traditional method to unlock into bootloader by pressing the volume up button and power button as you can see this is the latest twrp recovery available for poco x3 slash nfc 3.7.0 12 to surya you can check out in my channel go to wipe section here and select advanced wipe and select dalvik patch catch catch metadata and data and swipe here to wipe it once that has been done again now go to home section here and select install and select the micro sd card and wherever you downloaded the rom zip file firmware those things you need to select here first always flash zip firmware 13.0.1.0 1 .0, surya global it is you can check out on the screen the same firmware you need to flash in this particular rom video i mean in order to flash this rom you need to flash the same firmware and after that go to again home section and select here rom flashing i mean the rom here in this video i am going to flash this banana droid here flash it you can see here this is the latest available build for poco x slash nfc banana droid it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed rom zip file has been flashed successfully again go to home here and select wipe and select format data and type here yes and press this tick button this is how simple the flashing method of banana droid latest version for poco x slash nfc after this go to home section again and select reboot and select the system follow the same method use the same firmware same rom zip file and same method and same twrp in fact this is how it should be then you will never face any problem in this video i am going to explain everything in detail regarding this particular rom stay tuned till the end of the video you will be seeing lot more in this video and here we go it's booted into banana Android and let's begin this video hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is sampath you are watching sampath sound effects youtube channel and this is poco x3 custom rom reviews in this video this is the banana droid version uh, version what is it is 13 with android version 13 you can see here just dial it out to 13 o'clock it's here as you can see this is how the easter egg and security patch is 5th december 2000 which is latest year kernel user is 4.14.302 lineage is kernel this has been used for wider roms for poco access less nfc build date and baseband version build number you can see selling status is enforcing and i have been running the cp throttling test from last five minutes and six seconds and nine milliseconds you can see on the screen the maximum score is 192 average is 1 83 and minimum is 149 it's total to 94 percent of its max performance which is good in my opinion and this is the home screen you get and if i tap and hold here you get home settings this is the launcher used here banana home based on aosp launcher which is good in my opinion there are some different customization and different layout here if you want you can use them as you can see and home settings i already explained and coming to wallpaper sound style here you get this kind of wallpapers here some banana collection and some unsplash and some this wallpapers are given in this particular room, which is different in my opinion wallpaper colors are something very less here the combination of colors are only one and the basic colors three dark theme themed icons are given and you can choose the separate icon pack from here and app grid here it's available up to 16 to 10 the font you can use that and this how the quick settings palettes look the brightness toggle automatic brightness everything is working fine torch light airplane mode location you want you can drag and add some of the other options like mics and camera axis dark theme sync option is also given and some of the other settings you can drag and add it's fine no lag anything like that and you can also see the data usage via wi-fi or mobile internet connection and this is the quick settings panel the power and settings button has been moved downwards from android 13 hope you guys know it as of now and this is how the settings and this is the home screen and if you drag from here you get app drawer typical aosp roms here you can see and camera application i am using this gcam port which is from long time now you can see this is the version of gcam port available for poco x if want you can use any other gcam ports too and also you can check out the app opening time of android benchmark result you can see the scores here 3 lakh 62 
sorry 3 lakh 65 to 137 and temperature raise was just 0.7 degrees celsius and battery drop is 2 percentage during this entire testing of android benchmark results on this one android latest version for poco x slash nfc and the benchmark results like geekbench you can see here single score and multi score performance also you can see the app opening time here single score performance is 547 and multi score is 1542 and kernel user linux 4.14.302 lineage os has been used the kernel and android 13 the kernel is very good in terms of battery life and having a performance that you will come to know within a while and you get this gallery application here nothing more here you get just slideshow details and print and share option you can directly share from here that's simply font you can use google photos also or any third party gallery application and dolby atmos it's a motto of dolby atmos it's keep on adding this and this under 13 roms which is good thing in my opinion in order to enhance the audio experience via these headphones or even with stereo speakers you can definitely go through these options and use it according to your liking then it will be a little bit better compared to other audio sources like the smart scene selection this is very good the motor dolby atmos and some of the other customization some of the roms i already explained that you can check out my channel and camera i already shown there is a camera pre-built camera if you don't want any g cam ports then you can just satisfy with this then you can just install this no need to install any third party g cam apps and the recorder option is also some of the themes looks little bit different here and even the themes what it is selected based on that the colors has been given here and let me move into some of the settings like safety net status here you get pass then you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay whatever you need to use you can use that maps google maps location is also working fine drm information here you get level one certification you can watch all the ott application in high definition resolution and i have here like 100 mps fiber connection it's pulling up to 90 to 95 mps i have no problem regarding the mobile internet connection and wi-fi and even the earpiece let me show you this dialer you can see here direct video call feature is also available and uh, there is a call recording feature also but it will announce the other person that you are recording the call these things are working fine no problem regarding that yeah carrier aggregation support is also present in this rom uh, that's how it is and let's move into actual settings here here you get this banana gear you get lot more customization here status bar again these are the customization whatever we see on some other roms those things are given here and quick settings you get again lot more customization gestures buttons and navigation i already explained in the previous video you can check out notifications lock screen customization ambient display customization and themes here monet engine this all the customization you can use even custom color and if i go into miscellaneous you need to enable these things in order to get high fps in games and unlimited photo storage then you need to enable this from miscellaneous settings now moving into actual settings here battery life is going to be good because of that kernel whatever i said lineage as a kernel has been used and ceylon t kernel these two kernels are very good right now based on android 13 and percentage this is simply added here battery optimization is given battery saver is given but not extreme battery saver battery temperature also capacity also cycles also you can see from here the battery life is good again and let me check out the 33 watt charging support here it is showing charging slowly it might increase and in the evolution x rom also it was actually showing charging rapidly after 15 minutes of keeping charging here that's how it is again it should show as you can see now it is showing charging rapidly i mean the 33 watt charging support is given in this particular rom now moving back to other settings like sound and vibration you get typical usb type of under 13 customization i mean volume steps media vibration haptics you can customize from here and some of the sound settings you can customize and direct sound settings as i said before you get plenty of options hi-fi audio system and headphone type and preset from here and display this uh, select scene also given in this settings and uh, coming to display 
here you get again plenty of customization dark theme support is there and this you need to enable here pure black that's always required for me in order to make it pitch black condition and moving into some other settings in the display the colors you can keep it here and uh, minimum maximum refresh rate let me keep it to 120 here and tap to wake is there prevention accidental wake up and uh, app refresh rate per app you can choose from here wallpapers and style i already explained accessibility menu which is a handy feature just enable that without actually using the physical buttons you can use the volume up and down buttons that's how it is and some of the other accessibility settings as we see in any android 13 it's available and face and fingerprint unlock let me show you the fingerprint unlocking speed as you can see it's very quick in my opinion again just tap it's get unlocked but uh, again android 12 roms had very good unlocking speeds and face unlock speeds you can see here let me show my face actually yeah it's get unlocked again it's very quick in my opinion the face unlock is a little bit quicker than fingerprint unlock on this android 13 roms privacy location google maps all are working fine no problem digital web playing i don't think so anyone uses and into system there are developer options turned down here if you need to check anything you can check out just turn off and language and input these things are given here that's how it is these are the customization and everything regarding this banana dot for oco x slash nfc everything is working fine here let me show this pubg mobile gameplay and end of this video finally i can say this is a gaming rom we after seeing lot more videos i mean lot more roms finally i got very good experience with this rom i want to show you guys also it's very smooth experience here and loudness is also very fine here let me lower it down you can see up to 40 percent also it's very very loud and the graphics i want to show you within a while yeah now i can show you you can see here smooth plus 90 fs only because we enabled that in the miscellaneous settings not just this game i tried many of the games here which was working fine in this particular rom okay there was no lag whatsoever just i was not playing that well here because of scarrel If you have any specific questions regarding this ROM, you can ask here in the comment section. Definitely, I'll answer them before 24 hours. And this is the banana droid for Poco X slash NFC, which is working fine. You can definitely have it as a gaming ROM. But battle life, yeah, it's good. But don't expect like previous videos, whatever you've seen, Evolution X, Park OS, Arrow OS those will have better battle life compared to this rom but performance is very very good in this particular rom if you are seeking for performance oriented rom better than previous roms then you can definitely try this one on a if you have a previous version you can definitely upgrade it which is working fine no problem whatsoever as of now and that's it if you want you can use it as a daily driver and we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now